Pound for pound, JPOG is a better game than Jurassic World Evolution. Prove me wrong in the comments. How's it hanging dudes? My name is Sean and welcome back to another Jurassic World Evolution video. That's right, I said it. Pound for pound, I think JPOG is a better game than Jurassic World Evolution. And that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be comparing these two games. And I was going to originally set this up as a pros and cons of, uh, about, you know, for these two games and pretty much pit them against each other but as I was making this video and as I was re-recording some audio because you know I figured things out as I go and a lot of things just you know I kind of changed my mind as I'm going right I kind of just actually realized that you know just black and white on paper JPOG has everything that Jurassic World Evolution has but Jurassic World Evolution doesn't have everything that JPOG had and that's kind of an issue and again let me just go ahead and say that uh, this is a disclaimer, you know, I, I love both of these games. Jurassic Park Operation Genesis was one of my all-time favorite games from childhood. One of my all-time favorite games. And with all the DLC and the modding and everything else that came with it, it's made that game, you know, uh, replayable for years. Like, the replayability on that game is... is I, I mean, Even with the graphics of what they are, which we're not really going to compare to Jurassic World Evolution because it's really not fair to JPUG, being as it's 15 years old, you know, you really can't make that comparison. It was two different lives then, right? But you can get into that game right now, JPOG, and have a grand old time, a great time. Um, it definitely has some flaws uh, that were made up with DLC and a very strong modding community. Um, but yeah, let me just say that. Uh, I don't hate Jurassic World Evolution. I love Jurassic World Evolution. In fact, I'm infatuated with Jurassic World Evolution. I can't get enough of it. Uh, I can't get enough of it to the point where I feel like some of the things that I don't like about it, I need to address. You know, I need to criticize the thing I love to make it better. So let me just go ahead and start by saying that. Um, I'm not here to split the fan base. I, I love both games and I will continue to play both games. Um, and I don't agree with IGN's rating. I think that, um, that I, I just disagree with that. You know, I think that it should have been slightly better than what they gave it. So let me just go ahead and start by saying that. I'm a huge fan, you know, like, you guys know this. I ain't gotta explain this to you guys. You ain't, I'm not shitting on the game. I'm just trying to, trying to make it a little better. Trying to make it a little better, right guys? Okay, all right. So anyway, now that I got that out of the way, let's start by explaining some of the things that Jurassic World Evolution did right. Um, despite what some uh, who have been reviewing this, reviewing this game has been saying, that it's Planet Coaster with Dinosaurs. Jurassic World Evolution isn't just Planet Coaster with dinosaurs in it. No, it's not. That would have, that would not have been a selling point. <laughs> you know what I mean? That would not have been a selling point. Um, in fact, you can go into Planet Coaster right now, recreate everything you see in Jurassic World Evolution, um, down to the trees. You can recreate everything you see in Planet Coaster, except for the dinosaurs. And you can have the, the same exact... Um, gameplay play style just without the dinosaurs and planet coaster okay because planet coaster is a totally different game yeah it, it's it's not that despite what anybody says it's not planet coaster with dinosaurs in fact they really went out on a limb with uh jurassic world evolution um and it's really not anything like planet coaster whatsoever and i don't know why people keep making that that assumption you know what i mean there's not individual pieces you can place there's literally the only thing that these two um games have in common is uh, a pathing system and guests and, and and honestly the guests in planet coaster were a lot you know were a lot better than the ones in jurassic world evolution so that's just but i'm what i'm saying is that's a good thing that's a good thing Jur uh, jurassic world evolution frontier they went out on a limb they tried something different and props to them uh, you know even if some people think they failed at that you know trying to differentiate uh, some of their games even if you think they failed at that, uh, props to them for even going out on a limb and doing that. A lot of a lot of uh, companies, developers won't do that. They'll stick. I mean, look at Call of Duty. It's Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty. You know what I mean? Like the developers make Call of Duty. They're not. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Like they're the next Call of Duty is not going to be a branch out, right? But Frontier's um, next park management game was a branch out. Hats off to them for that. The visuals. Um, oh man, now I really can't compare them to JPOG for this. The visuals are just simply stunning. They are beautiful. Com combined, now I will say that some of their, some of their, um, their artwork is just slightly above average than what we have seen. Um, but when that's combined with the lighting, the atmosphere, and 
and the shadowing it, it takes that notch up uh, to us you know to a whole new level a whole whole new level um, there's definitely a hell of a lot more dinosaurs than what there were in JPOG. You know, when you first started to play JPOG, you really had to, um, you know, pick your dinosaurs well because what dinosaurs you picked, how you started the game, is really going to end up how, you know, affecting your park and how quick and how easy it is to get to a five star rating. You can't have all the dig sites in JPOG, right? That makes it kind of hard. If anything, that makes it, I mean, it was frustrating for a lot of fans, but it also made you think about how you were going to run your park, right? Because. You know, with Site B on JPOG, that game was a complete, almost a complete sandbox, right? Um, and to the point where people had to mod uh, just to get all the extra, uh, all the extra dig sites and stuff like that. So, you know, you can't really say JPOG was a complete sandbox if you can't really unlock all the dinosaurs, which you could with, um, uh, with modding and kind of messing with the files a little bit. So, if you include that, well, then they're both on par. But in the base game, Jurassic World Evolution killed it with their dinosaur list. They killed it. And then when they when they're rolling out this DLC with all these with all these other dinosaurs, the Sticky Moloch, Baryonyx, like yeah, they're killing it. They're killing it, killing it, killing it. And there's not a small limit. There's not a cap to how many dinosaurs you can have. Like good freaking job, guys. Um, they also work within the canon of the movies. This is kind of a detriment, being as there's not a story. Um, but they do work within the canon of the movies. They didn't just, you know, pretend like they were in some alternate dimension where Jurassic Park was a thing, but, you know, none of the main characters and none of the story ever made any kind of tidbit or any impact on the game whatsoever, right? So that's not, that's not the way it is. It's not like JPOG. On th this game, it does have a little bit more um, of a story influence, even if there's not a story there, you know? I, eh. I don't really know if that's really a plus or a minus, more of a, more of an observation. But anyways, that's that's kind of where um, where it ends. What they got right, that's kind of where it ends. Everything else um, was was in JPOG. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you know, in a certain way, shape, or form. Uh, whether you have a hatchery or a creation lab, you know, storm defense tower or you know, watchtower stuff like that. It's yeah, and that's about where um, what they got 100% right kind of ends. So let's just run through real quick what they got wrong. There's no story. There's copied animations. It was sold as heavy in park management, which it's not. Repetitive waiting and grinding is the filler of the game with really nothing to do but drive a Jeep in between. If you add up the time you spent waiting with nothing to do in the meantime, it's almost half the gameplay. There's no hurting. There's no real socializing beyond uh, a few dinosaurs, you know, Struthiomimuses clicking to each other back and forth. The guests have uh, have no interactions really besides looking up and pointing and running from dinosaurs or storms. And then there's the big problem: um, lack of detail. And I've harped a lot about even being able to place bathrooms, trash cans. Um, small details to make your park feel alive. When you zoom out of the game, it looks like a nice park. As soon as you zoom in to any building, it looks too clean. It looks too pristine. It looks too um, too perfect. Too perfect. Go to any freaking zoo. Go to any any theme park right now. You're gonna find a cigarette butt on the ground. You're gonna find a, a can crumpled up somewhere. You're gonna find. Uh, plenty of bathrooms, you know what I mean? Like a staple in any kind of park management is being able to charge outrageous prices for your freaking guests to use the bathroom. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there's just so much that's in every single older park management game that's not in this one. That's not in this one. It's inexcusable. It's inexcusable. You have bathrooms in Planet Coaster. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? They had bathrooms in Zoo Tycoon. They had bathrooms in Thrillville. Why do they not have bathrooms in this game? You're telling me that these guests have to walk all the way back to their hotel and use the bathroom? Like, stop. Please, don't do that. Don't, we, we, and everybody wants, you can't get mad at me about this. You know what I mean? Like, you can't get mad at me about this because, check it out. Immersion. Immersion. When you're selling a game on heavy-handed management, and then the management you get to, to do is change the fast food from one mill of nuggets to a, f a bigger mill to a slightly larger mill 
and charge a little bit more money for that. That's the option you have for management. You don't get to uh, pick up your employees and, and give them raises. You could even do that with Planet Coaster. Planet Coaster got a lot of crap for not having that much management. And as it stands, Planet Coaster has more management than Jurassic World Evolution. Hell, even JPOG had more management than Jurassic World Evolution. You could charge to use the bathroom. You could, you know, set different prices. And I would expect that type of, you know, oh, you get to pick uh, from one to three two different meals and you get to set a price for that at this one fast food restaurant in your park. I would accept that in JPOG because that's 15 years ago. The fact that you don't, you can't pick, uh, you know, multiple menu items from your fast food restaurant and Jurassic World Evolution is just, it's weird. It's mind boggling. You're telling me that these people, when they come up to this, to this fast food restaurant, the only option they get is Dino Bites. That's the only food they can eat. Or the Dinobite Meal, or the Dinobite <laughs> Dinobite Meal Deluxe, you know, like come on, dude, like that. No, I that's an, it's inexcusable, especially when you're selling it as a heavy-handed park management game. Furthermore, the animations, um, every animation is copied and pasted, every single one. Um, you know, if you have sauropods, each one of them are copy and pasted with slight, very, very slight differences. Very slight differences. Um, Dionicus, Dilophosaurus, and Velociraptor all have the same animations, except for Dilophosaurus has the frill and the spitting. You know, they pretty much have the exact same animations. Now, there are some small differences, but not enough to make these dinosaurs look unique. You know, earlier in the video, I said that or if I or if I didn't, you know, let me just you know reference it. You know, I've spent in my early game, uh, I spent hours just staring at some of my new dinosaurs, and I hadn't had a whole bunch of dinosaurs unlocked at that time. But I spent hours just staring at my Struthiomimus and you know my Edmontosaurus in their in their enclosure. And I was just like, wow, this is so cool. I can just get lost watching them. But then when I realized that each Edmontosaurus that came out really wasn't that much different or each Struthiomimus really that wasn't that much different besides a slight change uh, of color you know slight change of color oh this one's slightly more aggressive you do, you can't tell unless you click on it and look at all of its stats you know like it's it just wasn't very evident you know they're all doing sometimes you can catch dinosaurs staring at each other doing the exact same animations in sync and it's just so immersion breaking this whole thing really just leads to immersion. You know, in Planet Coaster, for example, or even in JPOG, you could follow guests and see what they look at. You know what I mean? In JPOG, it was, it was really kind of basic. But again, that game was 15 freaking years ago, guys. 15 years ago. Um, and Planet Coaster, it, you know, we, you have guests looking and pointing and interacting and getting really excited and, you know, dancing in, you know, in place whenever they see something that they, they like. There's nothing like that in Jurassic World Evolution. The guests meander back and forth until a storm comes or a dinosaur breaks out, and then they run, and that's it. And they all pretty much have like the same couple of running animations, and and really they don't run in any way, shape, or form. Like you can watch guests run away from um, the emergency shelters. It's just it's I don't know. I and again, I'm not hating on this game. It's just. It's just working with Universal, um, you know, Frontier could not have picked a better development team for this game, but at the same time, they should have allowed them to have a lot more creative freedom because everything in Jurassic World Evolution, you can do in JPOG. You can. You can do it. it albeit maybe on a smaller scale, on a, on, on a um, graphics-wise, not as, not as good, maybe on a, on a slightly less optimized game. Um, but you can do everything. You can take pictures of dinosaurs. You can tranquilize your dinosaurs. And they actually even had more mini games like, you know, um, herding different dinosaurs through mazes, herbivores through mazes and stuff, which I, I, don't, I don't know why. But guess what? While you're waiting for money to come into your bank account so you can buy your new creation lab or your new storm defense tower, why wouldn't you have some mini games like that? Mini games that maybe add to the immersion. 
maybe guests aren't happy because there's not enough minor detail or decorative items to look at maybe they don't maybe guests are ha are unhappy because they have to walk all the way across the park just to see one dinosaur maybe they would like to have attractions along the way you see what i'm saying like it, that's that's just not there it's just none of that's there none of it's there at all there's there are you know the missions get harder as they go in Jurassic World Evolution which I'm kind of happy about um, but they was really selling the game as um, you know these different vying factions uh, in your park would really be pulling you in certain directions and it's really not it was not that hard to balance um, these three characters it was not that hard to balance science to security to entertainment it just wasn't it just was not and they really didn't even start sabotaging you into what like the third or fourth island really because i mean i try to play it as well as i could keeping them all happy and it just wasn't wasn't that hard it just wasn't now let's get to story um one of the big issues about the story is just that there isn't any you know we have imposter grady uh <laughs> who's playing owen grady he's definitely not played by by chris pratt um, which is again it breaks immersion it breaks immersion um, you have Claire and Ian Malcolm and Owen uh, chiming in you know every so often they might have like fucking four or five paragraphs of dialogue in the entire game they pop up they say a sentence at best and then they're gone for another hour or three until you do something or screw up right um, the lawsuit aspect of the game is <laughs> does not even affect you whatsoever i mean if you're pretty like the first two or three islands really get you set up for the harder difficulty you know in the future and i don't know guys i guess really for me what it does is it boils down to um immersion it, at every every step it breaks immersion um From, you know, the dinosaurs having similar, if not the same exact animations and being in sync oftentimes. Or whether it's to, you know, guests just aimlessly running around whenever a dinosaur breaks free. Which, I, I guess they should, but aimlessly. <laughs> you know, a lot of guests run towards dinosaurs. Um, again, I know it's a universal thing, but there's not enough gore. I'm sorry, but when a three-ton dinosaur steps on a group of guests... They don't fly off into the distance as if they were, you know, riding a roller coaster. You know, they don't fly off into the distance. They get smushed. There's blood. You know what I mean? Like, like it's just it's just the way it is. And for them to sell the game on a theme park simulator, a, a tycoon simulator, a park building simulator, it's not simulating much. It's not simulating much that um, that anything else hasn't given us. I mean, even with Parkosaurus, you can go in and change menu items. You know what I mean? So it's there's plenty of other park games out there that have everything that Jurassic World Evolution has and more. And a lot of times those games are cheaper. You know, so it's the base game for Jurassic World Evolution. It just it fell short. You know, it fell short. And I say that as a fan. I say that as a guy who's still going to play the crap out of this game. I say that as a guy who's infatuated with this game. You know, we criticize the things we love to make it better. And pound for pound, JPOG is exactly like Jurassic World Evolution with gameplay mechanics that isn't in Jurassic World Evolution. They have some gameplay, gameplay mechanics that just isn't in the newer game. And when you stack them all the way up, the only thing that Jurassic World Evolution has on JPOG it's just better graphics and that just comes with the time you know you compare any game from 15 years ago to now you compare Jurassic World Evolution to a game 15 years from now from the next dinosaur game 15 years in the future it's not gonna look nowhere near the same so that's not even really a comparison if anybody in the comments you know says yeah well it looks better it, it should it's 15 years in the future it should look a lot better um, but that's not really a plus. That's more of an expectation, you know. You're not going to make a AAA game that has graphics from 10 years ago. It's just not the way it's going to work. And on top of that, they're they're just slightly above average graphics. They're not even the best. So, I hope that I have uh, thoroughly enraged everybody. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But, 
you know, like there are limits with JPOG, and you can't have every single dinosaur, but mods and DLC fixed that. Jurassic World Evolution, they've literally said that they have no further announcements beyond this DLC um, until the future, you know, and that's not even certain. So yeah, guys, don't hate me, but this is just my honest opinion. There's definitely things they need to fix on this game, and if a lot of the stuff gets fixed whenever the DLC comes out, uh, I will definitely address that. It's no big deal. But as as it is now, I think that um, I think that I like JPOG a little better. I really do. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. From the no story to just the lack of animations, copy copy and pasted animations, lack of guest reactions, you know, it's sold as a park management game and there's really nothing to manage. The only thing you can do in between waiting for your 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 fossils and waiting for your dig sites to get done, and that's what all it is, you click and wait. You click and wait. You click and wait. And then the only thing you get to do is uh, pass the time to is to get inside your Jeep and, you know, ramp some terrain that doesn't even really terrain right. You know, the brush sizes are just too big to actually, you know, do any sort of real terrain work. And I can just keep going on, guys. I don't want to because I don't, I, don't I don't want it to get too much hate. Uh, I just want to give you guys my honest opinion because I feel like I feel like you need it. And a lot of people have been asking me to do to do this. This is not my review of Jurassic World Evolution, by the way. This is just my uh, comparison to JPOG. And yeah, I still love both these games. Still going to play both of them. Um, don't get me wrong, Jurassic World Evolution is still better than a lot of other games out there uh, that charge the same price. You know, it's just, it is. It's, it's, it's better than a lot of games out there. But there is definitely a lot of room for improvement. And I'm not hating on Frontier about this because it cannot be easy to work with Universal. You know, when Universal are saying you have to have a deadline and you can't have blood and it has to be family friendly and it has to be within the canon, but you also can't include the story because you don't want, to, want you to give much away for the movies. You know what I mean? So it, it, it can't be hard to pull that off. And for what they were given, I think they did a, a damn good job. So in conclusion, um, <clears throat> I say to compare JPOG to Jurassic World Evolution, you know, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would say that JPOG comes out to be as far as gameplay wise for its time i'd say probably about a, an eight and i think that jurassic world evolution just falls short at a right about six and a half to maybe seven and yeah guys that's that's what that that's me that's my opinion uh you can love me or hate me for it but it is what it is guys uh don't forget i'm in the comment section after every single video um I love you guys like always. You keep smashing that like button. Keep subscribing. I'm always going to be here. I'm always going to be uploading. Um, yeah, don't forget. I'm in the comments section of every video. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. I'm just being honest, guys. I'm sorry. You had me at hello. Oh, baby, you.